Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. I think we finally done it. We have finally gotten enough done in the amount of time that we needed for today that we have enough time left to actually put in the CPU cooler and switch over the capture card. I'm pretty ecstatic. Unfortunately we have these little fur balls. And as soon as we put the, uh, the computers out here and put them on this table and start to operate they will be climbing all inside. So you guys are going to have to spend the next hour or so in the bathroom. But I will let you out for bed. I promise. Little cuties. Okay, um, so you'll notice I'm using this <laughs> handy dandy beautiful bracelet. Ironically, after I posted the vlog that I got this, there were a bunch of people who were like, oh dog, you don't need that. And I was like, just shut up. <laughs> I bought the stupid thing, now I have it. Um, I read a few guides online, because I've never done this before. I've never replaced the, uh, the cooler. And they said to try and take off the stock cooler as soon as you get your computer off because when it's warm, it should come off more easily. Um, if you wait a while, it turns into, well, paste because that's what it is. It's paste. So I took it, I, I turned the computer off and then immediately took it off and uh, came off real easily. We won't be needing that. Now, the next step is to clean off the CPU. And once you clean off the CPU and get the old stuff off, then you can uh, apply the mounting bracket and get the, uh, the heat sink ready. And then you can apply the new stuff, which we got Arctic Silver 5 we're going to put on it. And then we can do it. Once again, I've never done any of this before, but I've been reading up and watching some videos, so I think I can handle it. Hopefully. What I've read is that instead of buying like expensive thermal paste remover, you can just use isopropyl alcohol. Um, people recommend different percentages. Most people said that you want to get as high as you can. 99 or 100 will be best. We found 91. I'm sure this will be fine. So what I've got here are some Q-tips. I'm going to dip in here and just try to get some of the gunk off of the CPU. And I guess we'll see if this works. Alright, so I'm going to dab this Q-tip in here. And I don't want it super soaked, so I'm just kind of roll it on that paper towel. And then I'm going to just kind of rub it over this thing. And it's actually coming right off, which is useful. I'm sure this will also come off a lot easier if you do it, um, you know, right after you've shut your computer down. Yeah, this is looking beautiful. To be fair... This, uh, this paste has only been on here for like, what, a week? I think I've only got the computer up and running for like a week. So it's just clumping off. You can see the CPU stuff is gone, which is cool. And also since it's alcohol, it kind of evaporates or whatever you want to call it. I guess that's the proper word. Um, now what we have to do is we have to mount the, uh, the back plate onto the back here. Because I have this really, really friggin' fancy case that costs a bajillion dollars. Um, we can actually just attach it without having to remove everything. Generally, if you want to install an aftermarket CPU, you have to take your motherboard out and attach it to the back. But because this has a back plate, we can actually do it without having to remove it. At least we should. Yeah, everything should be cool. So what we got to do is we have to insert these standoffs from the other side coming through, and then we attach this with some nuts. And uh, I'll just hope that I get everything right. We didn't need to access the back of the motherboard anymore, so I put the back panel of the case on. Um, we got this, what do they call this thing? <laughs> retention plate. We got this retention plate where it needs to go. And uh, I was under the assumption that it somehow connected to this thing, but apparently not. So whatever. Um, but it's in the right spot. It's ready to be mounted. This is our Arctic Silver 5. I'm going to unscrew this thing. And by unscrew, I mean pull off. And then we are going to dab just a itty bit onto the CPU itself. Just a little bit right there. Okay. What I was reading online, everyone said somewhere between a grain of rice and a pea. That looks like somewhere between a grain of rice and a pea. So I'm satisfied. If I did it wrong, I guess I'll find out soon. <laughs> um, and then what we have to do, once again, from what I understand, 
uh, we need to first peel this thing off because this is where it's actually going to connect with the uh, thermal paste to take off this protective coating. And <laughs> see if we can grab this. Once again, as a reminder, I've never done this before. We have to sit this down onto the frickin' thing. Get my thumb out of there. So it's gonna sit like this. And uh, just have to make sure, I, I believe since it's square, it can actually sit in any direction. We can actually have the fan uh, mounted on any side. But I think it would make the most sense to have it mounted this way because it probably gives it the most clearance. So, it looks like that's going to be fine. So we will take a leap of faith here and push this down. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of go along with what I've seen other people do online and just kind of mush it around a little bit. Not putting a whole lot of pressure on the CPU itself. So it just kind of spreads out evenly. Okay, well after much swearing and frustration, um, <laughs> it actually occurred to me that when the heatsink was mounted this way, that it was pretty much touching the RAM. And I was like, that's probably not good to begin with, number one. But also, number two, it's covering up the slot to expand the RAM in case I wanted to get more RAM. So I was like, I probably need to turn it the other way. So we had to take it off and re-clean the CPU in the bottom of the heatsink, and then we redid everything over again. Yeah. But now it's in there, and I tightened all the screws, and um, the thing itself will actually continue to like wobble a little bit, but I'm just not going to touch it, because I assume I'm not supposed to do that. And then this fan clips on, and we just plug the fan into the fan port. Okay, so we are 100% finished at this point. Thank God. Um, I ultimately decided to mount the fan on the other side um, just because all of uh, these cables were kind of in the way. And if you have something to say about that, then let me know. But that's the way I did it because it made the most sense to me. I had to take out one of the sticks of RAM to get that in there. But once it was in there, I could, re uh, could uh, put it back in and everything was fine. So we're all good. I also uh, opened up the other one and took out the Intensity Pro and put it in here. So now the Intensity Pro is chilling in here, which is cool. Glad that that is uh, finally in the new computer. I gotta test that tomorrow, because it's late, and assuming I can capture with it and everything's fine, then uh, we are one step closer to world dominating, I mean, moving everything over to this computer. Anyway, that was an experience. That was an experience. That was my first aftermarket CPU cooler experience, and that was, Kind of a doozy. I mean, it was it was easy to understand what to do, but I don't know. It was, it was still kind of complicated, and it took a while. And the instructions weren't that clear for someone who had never done this before. But that's all right. Um, it seems to be working, and uh, I'll turn it on and try it tomorrow. So I'll just for now, I'll just keep my fingers crossed that everything does work. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? I couldn't help myself and had to show this. Uh, the CPU temp is running, I saw it as low as 22, and now it's idling around 26, 27. But uh, before I had the, uh, when the, before when I had the stock cooler in it was at like 37 to 39, so that's considerably cooler. So I guess it's working. And it hasn't exploded yet, and it's been on for five minutes. Neat.